Howdy, friends. Hope you're having a good Tuesday. Uh, I believe we just had a character kickoff, and so I'm going to try not to belabor today's Team Tuesday meeting, but I always say that, and then it ends up being long anyway. So I'm going to do my best and probably fail. If you haven't noticed, me and Mr. Oni are twinning today. We didn't coordinate this. Somehow both have on the maroon shirt and the blue plaid. Great minds. Uh, the first thing I want to talk to you about today is attendance. Um, you know, rather than just like dumping trucks of rules and procedures on you at the beginning of school, we're kind of trickling them out in chunks that make sense uh, for the teenage brain to digest. Um, so we're kind of at, we're nearing midterm. This Friday is our midterm. It makes sense right now to talk about time and having a sense of time. We're going to do a little math. Um, first of all, I don't know if you guys are familiar with calendars, but they are how we typically measure and keep track of time in, in terms of whole days and weeks and months and years. Um, and so uh, if you don't use your Google Calendar, uh, start doing that. It's kind of a time management tool that as you get busier, you will need and it will uh, help you simplify your life. Now, what I've got over here is just right now, I'm just displaying our website calendar. If I click some more of these boxes over here, and I have way too many, this would start populating every single day. Um, but if we click on today and then go back to August, we can see the first day of school is the 23rd. And if we counted all the days in the term minus the days we don't have school, like Labor Day and a teacher work day that's coming up on Monday the 19th, you guys have a short week next week. That's nice. Um, you can see that actually, uh, to in total, we have 38 days in the first term. Um, we're going to come back to that number. Uh, but looking forward into October, the 14th is the end of the first quarter of the year for the whole school district. That's the end of our term one. Then we'll have three more. Um, so term two goes from Monday, Tuesday, the 18th. There's no school on the 17th for you until winter break. Um, and then we start the second half of the year, which is the second semester. And there are two quarters there as well. But um, let's talk about this term. Uh, as you know, it is our policy uh, that you get four days to miss every term. The way we arrived at that number is by taking really um, the average number of days in each quarter, which is about 40. So we have 38 now, or two days short of that. Some other ones will be slightly longer, um, but it's about 40 days a term. 10%, if you miss 10% of the days of a term uh, out of 40, that would be four. Um, and so that's how many days you have to miss. 90% uh, is sort of the state expectation as far as uh, earning credit and being present, uh, you really need a sort of 90% threshold. So we just set the bar right there and let you have your four days uh, each term, no matter what. Now, we need to kind of think about what that means over the course of a whole term. Some of you just like hope you don't miss school and don't really think about like, you know, how those numbers fit together. Um, so right now, check my notes here. We are on day 16 of 38. And if you do a little calculation, um, putting 16 over 38, that comes out to 0.42 or 42%. We are 42% complete with term one. That's crazy. It's going by fast. Um, but it makes certain sense that midterm would be this Friday because we're almost halfway. Now, if you then take that 42% and multiply it times your four days that you have to miss, then you get a fraction, which is, oh man, I'm going to have to hang on a second here, 1.68. So 42% um, 42, uh, 42 of four days is 1.68. What is the significance of that uh, digit? Well, if you have used more than 1.68 of your attendance days so far, you are over the rate of attendance that you need to maintain in order to earn credit at this school. 
Okay. Like I said, we'd talk about maybe like some safety nets as far as uh, attendance go. But for right now, uh, what you need to know is that you need to be at school. Um, so tighten up if you need to. We're going to talk more about that in the future. The other thing I need to talk to you about right now is that the fall festival is coming up. It's October 1st. And um, we typically volunteer, have some help. Uh, we work really close closely with the Neosho Arts Council. Um, you might talk to Toby if you have uh, any interest in that. Toby, I think, is a regular volunteer and kind of led up our team last year putting chalk art squares on the square. We were putting squares on the square. We are going to do that again. Um, and so if you are interested in volunteering with the Neosho Arts Council to be involved in various art-related activities throughout the year, there will be a form on the Team Tuesday. Fill that out to show us your interest, and we'll talk to you about it later. Um, that's all for today. Have a good rest of your Tuesday.